also, they can create new problems. And finally, point number three. People love to have dominion. God did create us to have rulership over one another. People will always be exploring things and love to take control. Thank you! Oh, hey Adolf, what's up? Yeah, not much. What's going on, Winston? Uh, not too much. My yeah. dog has cancer. Uh, that stinks. Yeah. Did you hear about my new plan? Oh no! Tell me all about it! Oh, okay, well, here's the deal. I'm planning to take over the entire world. Oh, well... You do have to realize that if you come within a hundred miles of the glorious country of Great Britain, then I will have to take action against your forces. See, that's the problem, because, you know, in order to truly conquer the entire world, I have to take a Great Britain. Oh, well that is something I cannot allow you to do, my friend. I guess we'll have to settle this now. Let's settle it. <laughs> Yes, wars have always been a dominant part of our world's history. The first conflict was between brothers Cain and Abel, being among one of the first people to inherit the earth in circa 4000 BC. The result was the death of Abel. Throughout the ages from the beginning of time, People have been jealous, or have been greedy and power hunger. Oftentimes when this happens, war breaks out. Some historical wars include the Punic Wars, and the Hundred Years War. And today, we still see war in our present time. War will remain a common trend until the end of the earth. Hi, this is my second point. My second point is, new ideas can make life easier, but they can also create new problems. For example, take this re splendid recliner right behind me. It's pink, it's fuzzy, it's warm, and very comfortable. Plus, it takes off all the extra stress from your back and your knees. And if there's mud on your shoes, put this thing up and it lifts your feet off the ground. Wow! So, it's pretty cool, I guess. But, it can also create new problems that wouldn't have been there before. For example, this recliner could just spontaneously, randomly, tip over. Ow! So now, you see my point. Computers. Imagine our world without them. We'd still be stuck in the dark or risen. Privacy invaded through computer hacking. Identity theft. The list goes on and on. It is natural that man yearns to make life easier and better, which is why we are always inventing new things. But with a price. Every new idea always creates new conflicts and problems that before did not exist. Television has made us obese and lazy. We die from car wrecks, and nuclear weapons has generated mostly fear. From this, I conclude that life will never be perfect. 
The future may hold flying cars and robots to do our work, but that also creates aerial car wrecks and lost jobs to machines. And for my third point, God created us to have dominion, as you have all learned in Mr. Witherspoon's world history class, which you are all enrolled in. Thank you very much. Chris, I want dominion over you. Okay. God. He created us to be rulers and to have authority over one another. Long in history did man search the earth in hopes of finding land to claim or conquer. So many men have spent their lives looking for a new place to settle but went home empty-handed. So many men thought that they had what it took to govern a nation. But one does not rule, one leads. We have journeyed to all parts of our world. One final frontier remains, the galaxy. We have only set foot on but our own moon, and the rest of our solar system awaits our future arrival. Point number two. Don't steal that gem. <laughs> Don't make the little rainbow. I'll take the code, right? Alright. Mom's getting ready to die. <laughs> Mushrooms! You have just sealed your doom, boy. Maybe you fall to my doom. <laughs> Ow! Oh, you alright? God! This is the plan. Sorry. Yes. 